Welcome back to America's Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Ball. This segment is brought to you by CommercialAgentSuccess.com. Check it out. It is training for commercial agents at CommercialAgentSuccess.com. Well, today we're talking about multifamily, and you know, technology is helping us do everything better these days, right? Well, we've got some great technology to talk to you about involving multifamily. It's called Red IQ, and they're transforming the way multifamily deals are done. Let's check it out. Please welcome my guest. It's Ben Briggs, and he's with Red IQ, and he's here in Studio One. Ben, thanks for being with us. Really great to be here, Michael. A pleasure. Well, Ben, first of all, tell me, Red IQ, who who is it for? Who should think about using this or considering it? Yeah, that's a it's a great question. So mm. we have actually today about mm. uh, over 300 clients using Red IQ. The majority of those are, I would say, acquisition teams. Uh, so people looking at multifamily deals, um, acquisition teams, brokers, so investment sales brokers, and also people, lenders doing financing. Okay. And it's really set up mainly for multifamily, right? That's correct. We do one thing and we do it extremely well, <laughs> and it's multifamily, uh, yeah. typically larger multifamily deals. The leverage that our platform provides uh, increases as the deals and the documentation gets larger. Okay. And if you're transforming the way multifamily deals are done, so what what is it? What, what, how is that done? What What is it? Tell well, us about it. you know, I mean, you've been a broker for a long time, so you know how this works and how not much has changed mm -hmm. uh, in a long time, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what happens when a, a property is at the point where it's going to be acquired, we have this long cycle of hey, I check out this brochure, I need to make an opinion about value if I'm a broker, or I need to uh, underwrite this if I'm uh, on the acquisition side of the table. Or a lender. Or a lender, or finance it. Um, so we all start with the same documentation. We have a long multi-line rent roll from a property management system, and we have a um, operating statement that will be written out in the accounting standards that the seller prefers, right? right? And all of that needs to be standardized in order for us to be able to get something done. Now, in the bad old days, I would take that and pay my analyst to copy and paste it into my sheet one at a time. And uh, then when we were ready to bid on this deal and now we want to go get a loan, well, I'm going to send it to my mortgage broker. And he's going to painstakingly copy and paste it into his sheet. Um, and so that's really where we started was getting rid of that part. So uh, with Red IQ, the documentation that's needed to do a multifamily deal is instantaneously read, um, checked for errors. We highlight uh, issues and outliers in that data um, and make it instantly available to use in an underwriting model. And furthermore, every time that people put a deal through our system, it becomes a part of their institutional knowledge. So as you were to, you learn from years and years in the market what something's worth, what comps are like. Uh, this allows us to get that leg up so that the younger generation coming in, everything we look at, we have, we have remembered as a comp. Right. So uh, I can start seeing kind of what uh, operating costs uh, are, what management costs are, and what, you know, and seeing what's and kind of an anomaly, right? And how they're trending. And you can yeah. share that information with someone new who joins your firm as well, mm. because now they're not looking through a folder tree of old Excel files. Yeah. We're actually, we have this available to put into and make, um, make, judgment calls about the market. Well, let's back up a minute because I'm going to get this stuff in, in Excel and I'm going to get it in PDFs and all that. So how, how, does that, how, does that, how does your software do that to get it into, into your system? I mean, do you really want me to tell you? Or? <laughs> is, it, is magic? A little bit, you know, like uh, some some robots, some yeah. bubble gum and duct tape, and you know, there's a Rube Goldberg machine that we can, you, with, yeah, the, yeah, that that's been painstaking in the past. Yeah. So this kind of just takes a you, you put it up in your on your on your computer screen and boom, yeah, push a button and that's absolutely right. So so it's got to save a ton of time. It saves a ton of time. So we we found we've been doing some research with our clients and we found that. Uh, on average, this will make an analyst roughly four to five times more effective. They'll be able to do four to five times as many, process four to five times as many deals as they would by themselves. So this is a really powerful for uh, staying lean, you know, um, and it also uh, 
it reflects the reality of the market that we're in today, right? Yeah. So, you know, a client called me, uh, well, actually, we were on, sitting on a panel the other day, and he told me, you know, right now, we look at 800 deals that we run through our underwriting department, and we bid on 30, right? Wow. So quick math, that's less than 4%. It means you need to do, underwrite 27 deals yeah. just to bid on one. Yeah. Um, so if you can increase your capacity to do that more quickly and more effectively, you're going to find the, the, the deals that you need to do. Yeah. Now, you said that uh, now the analysts, you take one analyst can do what four or five are doing. Analysts out there are shaking in their boots. <laughs> you got them afraid now, Ben. You're not. No. No. <laughs> You're just going to be a more effective analyst, right? That's absolutely right. I mean, the yeah. way that I see it is like if you were a logging company, right, mm-hmm. and uh, you had the opportunity to give all of your people chainsaws, mm-hmm. would you do it? <laughs> yeah. Of course, right? Yeah. Because in the market really that we're good in ones. today, yeah, but the market that we're in today it's about, it, it's not like the beginning of the boom cycle where you, know, you look at 10 deals and maybe you find one, right? Mm-hmm. Now we live in a world where we are data rich mm-hmm. and that means that we need to turn over every possible stone to find the best deal out there, especially with margins and cap rates the way they are right now. Yeah. And so if I've done, I've put 30 deals, let's say, and, and, and I'm doing my 31st deal, mm-hmm. now can I go back and look at this 31st deal and go, well, maybe some expenses are too low or too high compared to what I've looked at in the past? Absolutely. That's what it does. Uh, it's one of its core functions in our data IQ product. So it can really help you understand and see uh, opportunities or maybe something a seller's hiding, right? Yeah, well, certainly a place to look. I mean, yeah. uh, furthermore, as you're putting in those expenses, for example, yeah. it's going to learn the way that you code those to your own chart of accounts. Yeah. So the goal here is that all parties to this transaction, the lender, the seller, the buyer, the broker, both brokers, we're all looking at the same source data, right? Yeah. But through the lens that we prefer to see it through. Right. So as a broker, you want to be able to get your opinion. You want to become an expert in the deal as quickly right. as possible, right? right? So all those brokers out there, you meet, a, you meet a potential seller, you want to be able to get that data in and then come up with a compelling story and a beautiful visual dashboard to say, like, this is my opinion of value of this property, this is where the premium lies, this is the schedule on which I can, this is the story I can tell to the buyer now, to achieve this price. You said beautiful, <laughs> so it must not be just uh, numbers. Yeah, that's right. We have uh, you know, graphs and charts and... Uh, yeah. All that kind of good stuff. Yeah. Maps. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a great part of it. Yeah. So what if I, uh, so I can get it in, in almost any format. You said Excel and PDF, right? Yeah. And then I can import it kind of instantly. Uh, but what if I manipulate it, put it in the chart accounts and get it the way that I think it should look, uh, but then I want to give it to someone else. Can I also export it back? How can I export it out? What? Yeah. So everything is exportable. We tie very tightly to Excel. We have... Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe I should sort of explain, you know, we have two core products, mm-hmm. one called Data IQ, which is what we've spoken about most here, mm-hmm. that is getting the data into the platform, building those comp sets, understanding mm-hmm. what's going on with the properties, the dashboards. Mm-hmm. And then we have another product called Valuation IQ, which is a robust institutional grade underwriting model, which is a, you know, a custom Excel-based application, mm-hmm. which syncs with that cloud. So you can simply, from the interface, I could simply share a deal with my broker or with another uh, you know, a buyer or a seller mm-hmm. um, or a lender. Um, I could also share the model with them directly. Uh, and all of this can be exported into my own templates as well. So, okay. uh, so even if that lender or buyer doesn't have Red IQ, I can export it into Excel or something. That's correct. Okay. We have an underwriting model that you can uh, yeah. distribute. Yeah. yeah, well, that's awesome. It's, it's completely awesome because we need to be able to do things and, and, and faster, be a lot faster with it. And I love the ability to, to very easily look at, well, what, what's missing or what's wrong or where's the opportunity? You know, I've uh, sold a lot of apartment deals. And one of the things that you always look for is, well, where are their expenses too high or are their rents too low on this particular type of unit? You know, that, that, that's where you want to be able to and use a tool like this to really find opportunities, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you've been in the business for a long time, so mm-hmm. you know the expertise comes with time at mm-hmm. looking at those things. And mm-hmm. this is the method that we need. No one can keep all of this in their head, yeah, right? Um, right? So it's really a powerful tool to help you gather more data. And across our client base, I think we have data on 400,000 properties. Mm-hmm. 
Um, we're looking at roughly 70, 70, we're on track to do like 70, 75,000 deals this year. Mm -hmm. So that's almost 10 million units that mm -hmm. we see data come through. Roughly 7.8% of those 400,000 are turning over each yeah. year. So that's a big chunk of the multifamily market, let's say in the yeah. 50 unit and up yeah. category. And we're gonna bring a very large deal to market here in the next month or so. And so we'll, we'll put it in red IQ. So if you're oh, uh, watching or listening and you, and you wanna see the results of this product, uh, let me know and we'll send that to you. And it's a class A uh, multifamily uh, property. So um, what's next for you guys? I mean, this is uh, almost magical kind of software. You think about what it does. It's, it's got a lot, right? I'm yeah. really excited about the future yeah. of Red IQ. I mean, we have a bunch of really exciting things on mm -hmm. our near-term horizon. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're working um, on, ex we've had a lot of demand to expand mm -hmm. the uh, flexibility, the integrations that we offer. Um, you know, larger companies are looking for more ways to leverage the data they've put in to drive other models, uh, reports, mm -hmm. um, feed internal templates that need to run through the chain of commands to do all types of other tasks, right? Yeah. Um, also, we're going to be uh, leveraging this data that we get in. Since so many deals are underwritten through us and we see the same deal multiple times from multiple perspectives, mm -hmm. um, we're going to be offering some of that data in benchmarking mm -hmm. to help people get to, to take it that next step, right? So right yeah. now we're taking the first hard part off the table, which is get the source data in. The next part that you need to manage is, well, now I need to make my assumptions, right? Well, we're going to try and help our clients do that by, I'm not saying the computer is magically going <laughs> to get there, but yeah. it's going to line the plane up with the runway so that you've, all you have to do is go in and make your final, your final steps. That based on what we've seen, we can uh, get that out. And then finally, uh, toward the end of the year, we'll be um, adding an, another package that uh, supports an asset management use case more directly, let's say, oh. an additional suite of dashboards and tools. Well, awesome. Well, you're making some CEOs and CFOs happy and, and I think some <laughs> analysts as well. I sure uh, hope so. All right, Ben, well, thanks for being with us. Great information and uh, what a great tool. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, anybody out there, feel free to check it out. Go to our website. Yeah, they, you can get a free demo. The website's RedIQ.com, and uh, they'll set up a demo. So do check it out. And stay with us. We'll have more on the multifamily market. I'm Michael Bull. This is America's Commercial Real Estate Show. Stay with us. America's Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by Bull Realty. For customized asset and occupancy solutions, visit BullRealty.com. Commercial Agent Success Strategies, incredible training for commercial agents. Visit CommercialAgentSuccess.com. Red IQ, turning multifamily data into actionable intelligence. Visit RedIQ.com.